Right, we're on. I've got a new set of irons. You probably noticed that. Set of tailor-made P790s. These irons cost, I would say, 130, 140, 150 pounds per iron. So that's a big spend. If I buy a television, for example, three, four, five, six hundred pounds, I would expect there to be an instruction manual or some form of instructions to tell me how to control or how to use the piece of equipment that I've just purchased. Yet we spend four, five, six hundred pounds or dollars on a new driver. Let's say a Maverick driver, you've spent four or five hundred pounds on that. But there's no instructions with it. It doesn't tell you how to operate the machine. Now that's a big spend to buy that pride and joy in your golf set, but there's a, there's a big spend there. But there's no instructions on how to use that piece of equipment, that high tech piece of equipment that's going to be swung at over 100 miles an hour, how to use that correctly. Now if we did have instructions with a golf club, what would it say? Well I reckon it would say, in order to move the golf club forwards towards the target, pivot your body. To move the golf club outwards towards the golf ball, pivot your body. And to move the club downwards to get to the golf ball from the top of your backswing, it would say move, use your hands and arms. So in order to get the golf club to operate, it would say to move towards target, turn body, to move out towards golf ball, turn body, and to move downwards, use hands and arms. Let me explain these instructions just a little bit more clearly. Before we do though, one main instruction would be Resist the urge to use the hands and arms to move the club forwards and outwards. That would definitely be in the instruction manual of my new golf club. So a high-tech piece of equipment needs to be operated correctly. Instruction manual says, in order to move the golf club forwards towards the target, target being in this direction obviously, from top of backswing, move club towards target, pivot the body, turn body. That would be your first instruction. Second instruction, to move the golf club out towards the golf ball from the top of the backswing would be turn body. Golf club is now going out towards the golf ball, turn body. It's going out towards golf ball, pivot body, out towards golf ball and heads towards target. I think even I could write that instruction manual. And then the third instruction would be, so two instructions, to move golf club towards target, pivot body. To move golf club out towards golf ball, pivot body. To bring the golf club down to meet the golf ball, use the hands and arms. Hands and arms bring the club down. Three dimensional impact, downwards, forwards and outwards. So the instruction manual would say, club to target, forwards, pivot. Club out to golf ball and forwards, pivot. Club out to golf ball, so outwards and forwards and downwards. Hands and arms bring it down, and the pivot brings it outwards and forwards. That would be the instructions on your golf club to tell you that be <laughs> that would be the user guide of a golf club on how to swing it correctly, how to use the golf club correctly. So I get to the top of my swing, and then from there, hands and arms bring it down. Pivot brings it forwards and outwards. If I can time them both together. I'm going to get a decent strike on the golf ball. And I have. Now one thing the instruction manual would also say is resist the urge for the hands and arms to help with the outwards and forward motion. That would be in the, it would be in the small print but it should be in the large print. So resist using the hands and arms because they only bring the club down to try and go forwards and outwards. That's only pivot that does that. It's purely pivot, hands and arms bring it down the way. So resist the urge for the hands and arms to help or assist with going forwards and outwards. So instruction manual, dead simple, four parts to it. You get the club forward, pivot. Get the club to go out towards golf ball, pivot. To get the club to come downwards, use hands and arms. And then you marry three up together. And the fourth part, the most important part would be resist the urge for the hands and arms to assist with forwards and outwards. Because that's trouble. If you can sequence all that, you will get decent strike. If you can sequence those three instructions, on how this golf club's supposed to move correctly, then you'll get a good impact position. 
you will be able to use the golf club it's designed to be used because your impact will be three dimensional. It will be forwards, downwards and outwards. Forwards from pivot, outwards from pivot and downwards from hands and arms. And that's how the club's designed to be used. So it'd be nice to be told that, wouldn't it? <laughs> if you can coordinate all three, you will get good strike. So there we go. Guys, leave comments below. What do you think the instructions would say on a golf club? How would the, the manufacturer tell you or explain to you how the golf club's supposed to be swung or how it's supposed to be used? That's my opinion. That's how I think it should be worked or how the player should work the golf club. Um, Three-dimensional impact, very, very important. Downwards, forwards and outwards. The last thing we want to do is come inwards. If we do come inwards, which is cutting across, which is going to create that slice or that pull, that is because we have encouraged the hands to go outwards or forwards and we don't want that to happen. Guys, if you've not subscribed, please do so. It's just a little click on the button down there. Click the bell notification as well and also the thumbs up button that shares it around YouTube and that helps me out and that's much appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.